Hey y'all, hey y'all. Welcome to my channel. This is Straight Facts Commentary where I give you my unpopular opinions in everything pop culture. So please, please, please stick around and subscribe for more. Hey y'all, I am back again with another video and in today's video, you see the title, you see the title, we are going to be speaking about female rap, just different thoughts that I have in regards to the title. So if you're interested in that, female rap, pop, conspiracy theories, trending topics, my popular opinions, whatever I feel like getting into for real, go on ahead and subscribe and let's get into this video. So if you're clicking on this video, you might be a female rap fan or someone who's just casually observing female rap and all of the stuff that goes on in it because if we're being honest, there's so much that's going on and that goes on in female rap that isn't just music related and it draws a whole bunch of audiences in my opinion just simply off of the fact of there's so much happening like whether it's gimmicks from these artists who do random crazy things or it's the female rap beefs that take place or the music but for the most part there's a lot of tomfoolery <laughs> i love female rap doll I love female rap. It's one of my favorite things ever. However, there is a lot of tomfoolery that happens in female rap. There's a lot of drama. There's a lot of different things that kind of keep interest in the genre other than music, which is fun, but there's a lot. And on top of that, there's also the very interesting conversation of hypersexuality in female rap. And if some of you guys have been watching me for a bit, you guys know I don't mind a little little sexy moment, a good sexy moment, a hypersexual moment, a showy display of one's body moment, a good twerk session. I don't mind any of that stuff. It can be quite fun. It can be quite fun. However, it seems like, in my opinion, from what I've kind of observed, the tides are changing. You know, things are changing in female rap and consumers of female rap are changing. Observers of female rap seem to be changing a bit too. As most of you guys do know, there's a lot of hypersexuality in female rap. It's really one of the forefronting things that kind of define mainstream female rap. If we think about mainstream female rap artists and mainstream female rap songs, we think about songs like WAP, we think about songs like Anaconda, Pound Town, you know, most Megan Thee Stallion records that were viral, Big Old Freak, you know, just songs that are very defined and heavily saturated in defining sexuality and first of all I, there's no problem with that i don't think there's any problem with that at all men in hip-hop do it all the time they talk about degrading women constantly calling us all types of bitches and whores and doing all types of crazy stuff over sexualizing us at every turn with their lyrics and also displaying us in their music videos like men in hip-hop do it so it's not to take away from them however if we're just speaking about female rap while there is nothing wrong with women inherently expressing their sexuality in any way it just feels like there's a lot of things that are lacking with female rap and hypersexuality it's like yeah they're hypersexualizing themselves but we're not really getting good music out of it good bars out of it and honestly the girls aren't benefiting in this current moment and stream of time in female rap in my opinion from it that much and what i mean by they're not benefiting is I feel like the hypersexuality in female rap isn't helping sell anymore. <laughs> and that has been something that I've talked about on this channel in the past, like a long time ago, months ago, when I first made my channel, how hypersexuality in female rap is a propelling point for sales and attention because people want to see that. People want to see girls half naked. They want to see them talking about certain things. They want to hear how explicitly they ride the D. Like that is just something inherently that consumers have wanted the less close as possible and the raunchy as possible that has just been the pattern however just taking a step back and analyzing how female rap is going in the current climate and even just this year for the female rap albums that have dropped and the female rap singles that have dropped i i don't think it's working as much as it did at one point and what i mean by working is the hypersexuality um we used to see a boost in sales when these girls would give their most explicit material but i don't feel like it's working so i'm going to give some examples of this so cardi b dropped her song it was called enough miami it went number i think 10 or 11 on the billboard charts I don't know how that happened because nobody was really listening to that song, but she was completely pretty much 
naked in the music video. Also, if we remember the like what freestyle, that also came with a music video. She was pretty much completely naked in that video too. Both videos, she looked amazing. Um, but those songs didn't really go anywhere like at all. Yeah, it went on the Billboard charts, but nobody were really talking about them and they completely fell off the charts. Also, Cardi B just dropped a song with an artist named Rob49 called On That Money. And the song is just a purely sex song and it's just talking about, you know, what they're going to be doing and they're going to be effing on the money, <laughs> essentially, okay? The song is all about SEX and the music video has a bunch of girls shaking butt and Cardi B looking delicious and everything like that. Very hypersexual kind of energy that's going on. That song went absolutely nowhere. Another huge example of this is Ice Spice. Um, she got popular literally off of her song called Munch, which is about eating the puss, okay? <laughs> and she's also very popular for shaking her behind, okay? And that rode out for a couple of years and she was very popular off of doing that, just off of looking good, being thick and shaking it. However, Ice Spice's sexual charm is starting to wear off. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Her looking good, her shaking it, and her putting out music talking about that isn't translating as much as it did when she first came into the game. And she's still doing the same things that she was doing back then. People are starting not to care. People are starting to get irritated. People are starting to say they don't want to see it. They don't want to hear about it. Change up what you talk about. Change up how you're moving. We don't want to see your butt all the time. Like people are getting tired of the SEX imagery when it comes to female rap. And it's not translating as much into sales as it was one year ago, two years ago, three years ago. I think people are tired because female rap, when it comes to hypersexuality, it doesn't change. We don't have a lot of diversity in female rap when it comes to the mainstream girl. So when it comes to low quality bars and, you know, lyrics, when it comes to imagery, people are tired of the same revolving door of the same thing over and over and over again with very little versatility, very little skill, and very little imagery switch ups. When you really think about it, a lot of these girls are selling low. A lot of these girls' albums are barely selling. A lot of these girls' singles don't chart on the Billboard Hot 100, or if they do chart, they're charting really low. Yes, obviously, that has to do with the quality of the lyrics and the quality of the song, but also the imagery and the explicit music videos and the explicit lyrics and them showing their body every five seconds on Instagram or wherever isn't helping translate into those sales as much as I feel like it was in previous years. I feel like soon the mainstream female rap girls are going to have to find a new formula. They're going to have to find a new sauce. They're going to have to find something else to do. The Ice Spices, the Cardi B's, the Megan Thee Stallions, the insert, you know, Lottos, anybody who primarily kind of emphasizes their bodies, which is totally fine, but it's the primary. And when that's the primary and that's the focus and that's not necessarily working to drive sales and attention anymore, you have to switch it up. You have to then add other elements of creativity to grasp people's attention because people are getting tired of the butt cheeks. They're getting tired of the songs about SEX. It's not moving any money. It's not pushing any album sales. Like it's barely getting that attention anymore because people are desensitized. They're tired. They're annoyed. They're bored. We're going to have to have a new thing. <laughs> like what's something else we can kind of do? What's something else we can kind of incorporate that isn't primarily that? Because while it can be fun to look at, I feel like it's not translating in sales. These girls are not selling. They're not. They're not. We have we have to have a new formula. We have to do something different because clearly the hypersexuality and the lackluster lyrics and the songs about that aren't really pushing people to stream. It's not pushing people to buy albums and it's not pushing people to chart songs. People are hearing it one or few one a couple of times and then moving on. And I remember like a year ago or a little bit less than a year ago, I was saying that it is one of the main driving forces to push sales, but the sales are just going down and down and down each month that comes out for female rap. Like every time I hop on social media and there's a female rap girl who puts out a new song or puts out a new video, people are like, oh my gosh, we're so tired of hearing songs like this. Oh my gosh, we're so tired of seeing xyz female rap girls working oh my gosh are you guys tired of hearing this type of music yet oh my gosh is this all we have in female rap like every time i hit the blogs comments like that is what people are saying it's not the same amount of praise and admiration that 
in previous years that seem to get. I definitely feel like the WAP <laughs> and the Anaconda and the Big Old Freak and the songs like that, that shock value of female rap has wore off. That's wore off. I don't think people are going to be shocked anymore by that type of stuff. I don't think people are going to be outraged. I don't think people are going to be interested like that anymore. I think people want elevation. I think people have heard and seen everything that we need to hear and see when it comes to sexuality and female rap to the point that what is the point of buying into it at this point? You've said everything you could possibly say. <laughs> We've heard every dirty lyric there is to hear. Nobody wants to buy that shit. I don't feel like it's selling anymore. So you guys let me know um, what you guys feel like the shift in female rap in the mainstream could be and what you guys want to see more of and hear more of. So yeah, that's just my hot take. You guys let me know how you feel about it. But I love you guys and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.